What's up guys, to the 6th episode of Creating Chelsea and stuff, so we're going to discard the out of contract Schwarzer because I picked one for 350 coins and it's basically about 46 coins, so it is a lot cheaper than buying a contract and of course uh, wasting coins, we can't really do in that because we are currently selling 12,000 coins and there is going to be quite a big uh, signing this episode, so hopefully you guys agree with who I signed, he is a fantastic player and I think he will really help the series get along. So we head into our first game of the episode, we're going against a bit of a low chemistry side, he's got Cavani in the team but apart from that he's a full French team. Team, a very strong team of course against our pretty average side so we head into the 25th minute of the match here win a penalty see how easy they are to give away on this game it is quite incredible and of course Didier Drogba with his fantastic ability goes right and the keeper does dive the right way but he does uh, manage to put it to the back of the net to make it 1-0 in the game and then we do get a second goal here 20 minutes later really nice bit of passing play Matic outside to Kane Kane inside to Mikel Mikel with the uh, really nice pass to Drogba like a really nice First time pass straight into him and of course he puts it into the back of the net to make it 2-0. And then straight from kickoff in the second half pretty much. He goes on attack here with Cavani and it is really annoying from kickoff just being able to walk through teams pretty much. It was kind of like, um, I think it was John Terry playing there. Just kept him on side and of course let him put that one into the back of the net to make it 2-1. And then he does score another goal here 20 minutes later again. Cavani play, making the play, kind of unlucky from uh, Mikel and Kurt Zuma both kind of winning the ball but couldn't quite clear it. And he does eventually put it into the back of the net. But then in the 66 minute of the match, pretty much after him scoring uh, two minutes later, Drogba with a nice bit of skill there, gets into a good position and puts it into the back of the net to get a hat-trick in this game. And of course getting the hat-trick bonus that will help us to get towards the signing. And in the very dire moments of the game, we do give away a penalty here. Uh, Benzema just getting absolutely clattered. I think it was from Mikel or John Terry. And of course he steps up to the spot with Benzema and we do luckily get away with it. He hits it on the underside of the crossbar and we do clear it out and get the three points from the game. So very lucky to get the win in the end. If that guy put it into the back of the net it would have been very devastating of course. And we're only five points away from the title now so obviously a win and a couple of draws. We're pretty much into the next division so that would be absolutely fantastic. All those coins will be very handy as well. So we are going to head into another game putting William on the left hand side. Hopefully he can impact the game and get us a few goals to win this one. And we come against a bit of an interesting team. He's got like Jovetic, Young, Morales and Samuel Leto, quite good players, but then he's got some weaker players like Colo Torre. And then we come into the game here in the 27th minute of the match and William just pretty much runs from the halfway line, goes through the middle of his defence and puts it into the back of the net. A really good solo effort from him. And it just shows how good pace and dribbling is on this game, how you can just run through teams with it and get the goals, of course. So then we unfortunately can see the goal in this uh, second half, I believe it is. Yeah, it is. And uh, Samuel Leto just got a ridiculous amount of pace here. Like, look at him just burst through my defence. We didn't exactly sprint that fast. We've got, like, Ivanovic and Terry. So compared to Eto, he's actually quite fast, of course. So a little bit unfortunate to concede that goal. And then he tells me to calm down. That's not very nice, of course. And we do reply with a goal in the 90th minute of the match. Harry Kane, I believe it is. I don't think it is Harry Kane. Harry Kane's the guy from Spurs. So I'm not too sure what his uh, first name is. But he puts a fantastic ball across the front of the goal and William is at the back post to put it into the back of the net to get us all three points in the game in the 90th minute so we are getting quite lucky in the 90th minute of the match in this episode obviously in the first one and the guy who missed the penalty and then in this one we get the winning goal and get all three points so we are pretty much guaranteed promotion now so hopefully we can get those couple extra points maybe just one win or a couple of draws whatever it takes to uh, get into the next uh, title division that'll be really cool for us and of course more coins means more signings and of course uh, we are going to head into another game we unfortunately haven't got drug but we have got Salah and uh, William out wide so hopefully with their good amounts of pace and dribbling they can uh, break down this next opponent who has got a very strong side he's got Lacazette, Nasri on the right hand side not too sure about that uh, Valbuena and Kabai in the midfield so quite a strong team and he does unfortunately score a goal here in the fourth minute of the match it is always annoying when you do concede a goal very early on in the games and Griezmann got really lucky how he got the ball and then I don't really know where Schwarzer was there he's just at the front post when he should have really been in the middle of his goal but we do reply here with a pretty nice goal it's actually Baker and Brown doing some nice link up play Fletcher with a nice run through the defence gets himself in a good position heads it down to a volley and puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-1 in the game a good way to get back into it and then we do score a second goal here minutes later straight literally straight from kickoff Johnny and Mikhail just holding up plate waiting for the run of Brown Brown just with a really nice cheeky pass puts it to William William smashes it into the back of the net with his left foot and makes it 2-1 in the game pretty nice for us to get back into it in uh, literally two minutes and then we do get a third goal here in the 54th minute of the match Baker going around the centre back I'm not too sure how this guy just could not defend at all went for a cheeky chip and then uh, his goalkeeper parries it out and Brown is there 
put it into the back of the net to make it 3-1 in the game. Quite a nice goal as well. And then we do uh, get all three points, meaning we get the title, of course, and meaning we can make that signing. So I believe we do get about 4,000 coins for winning the title, plus we get the hat-trick bonus of 5,000 coins for getting a hat-trick. I believe it was in the first or second game. I just want to get those coins now and make that signing because it is a really, really good signing. And I'm really glad I made it because there isn't really that many options in this position. And, of course, um, it's going to help the series along very nicely. And it is, of course, Oscar, the Brazilian center attack of mid 84 rated and he's about 22,000 coins at the moment what's a decent price for saying he has got some very good stats on his card 81 pace 85 dribbling and 80 passing of course and he is just gonna be absolutely fantastic so of course we need to make some changes to the checklist because there is an informer Banovic and we are gonna get rid of the bronze Musonda because he doesn't seem to be coming on the market at all and we of course take off Oscar off the checklist so we're doing very nicely is the six best Chelsea player so that's actually a really nice thing to sign for us and of course we're gonna give him the number eight as that is a kit number and go into our next game hopefully Oscar can really light up this team and make it really really good so we're gonna head into a game and we come against quite a low chemistry size only got 89 chem and I'm not too sure how because he's only got one guy that's like not linked to anyone but there's quite a few links into him of course so we head into the 17th minute of the match here and Jovetic just pressures my players down loads and Ake just with a poor pass but then that was the worst thing. It was Schwartz being an absolute mong. Just lets it roll into the back of the net. I don't know what he was doing. He was like trying to protect it. But then he could have just picked it up. But he just really bad way to start this game. But we're going to head into the 35th minute of the match here. And somebody scored from a corner. I was like, what the hell's happening here? Who scores from corners on FIFA 15? Not a thing that happens very often. So um, a little bit of a shame, obviously, to be 2-0 down in the 35th minute. But... We do get a goal straight from kickoff. Oscar just showing his quality here with a nice uh, Berber spin, cuts inside, and then goes past the defender with a nice rainbow flick, heads it down, goes through defence, and finesses it around the keeper. A really, really nice goal and a really nice debut for him to get that goal in, of course. And then we do get a second goal here. Oscar kind of creating the chance. He like took out a couple of his defenders there. Um, obviously, he took him out and then uh, Oscar just kept him to the ground. And then Drogba puts him to the back of that to make it 2-2 in the game. And I think that's how the game does end. So it's nice for us to get back into it again. We're just uh, going down 1-2-0 or two nil and then coming back and getting the points out of the game. So that's quite good. We did come against a pretty strong side. And the 4-3-1-2 is actually quite a strong formation this year. So maybe we'll try it in this series. I'll have to see. Also, in that last game, we did concede that own goal for with Schwarzer. So maybe we could have got the three points out of that game. But it's nice to get the point in the end, of course, after being 2-0 down. To come back is always good. So we are going to head into our final game of the episode. And we come against a really strong opposition. He's got ridiculous ridiculously good players, Remy, Schürrle, uh, Yaya Torre, Oscar, Ramirez, some of the players that we are going to have to make in this series and we do really start well in this game, uh, one minute in we go down the right hand side with Oscar and crosses it into the box to Drogba to head into the back and then to make it 1-0 in the game, very nice goal, it's very important for us to get the uh, goal very early in the game because we did get another goal here in the 20th minute of the match, Oscar again creating the chances, going past two players, really nice finesse shot and then Matic puts it into the open net to make it 2-0 in the game and it just shows how fantastic Oscar is in this game. Um, he just creates so many chances here. Pretty much every goal in this game evolved around Oscar in one way or another. And then here, Drogba goes inside, it's inside, and then uh, puts into the back of net. Kind of getting lucky how the keeper did parry it out back to him, and then he put it into the back of net. But it's nice, he finished it off, of course. Didn't think Oscar was actually involved in that goal, so uh, kind of contradicted myself straight away. But then we do get a fourth goal here in the 86 mile of Mat Matic with a nice cut inside. Finds Drogba's run, and then Drogba just absolutely manhandles everyone, goes past the keeper, crosses it into the box, and then Mikel is there to head it into the back of the net to get us all three points. So, a very nice world to end off this episode. It's actually a really productive episode. We made a really solid signing. We made uh, really good production in the seasons. I think we're into Division 7 now, maybe even 6. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. But, of course, if you did enjoy this episode, it would be fantastic. If we could get over 15, maybe even 20 likes. If we get over 25 likes, I'll get another episode out for tomorrow. So, smash the like button, subscribe to your channel, and see you soon. Bye.